Yeah, Keon, just how would you describe your style of play and, and why this was the best fit for you in terms of a, a system from, from Nate Oates? Um, my style of play, I would say, is more of a, a running gun. I, I, I fit more. I feel like I fit better into a, a more running gun style offense. So um, seeing, watching a couple of their games last year, watching them play, you know, uh, I felt like I could fit in because they, they do get it up and down and on offense. So I think that's my best my best offense to play in, either the, even though I can play in like any, I feel like I can play any style of offense, but seeing that they get up and down a lot and, um, you know, I can finish in transition, I can shoot the ball, uh, beat someone off the dribble. So that makes it easier to play in this style of offense as well. Over to Charlie Potter. Hey, Keon, I know you weren't here last year, but mm -hmm. there's a lot of new faces out in the court, whether it's you guys as newcomers or the guys that had to sit out because of injuries. So just how are you guys gelling as a unit? How do you think that chemistry is coming along so far? Um, I think the history with or the chemistry with our teammates has been real good. You know, we hang out with each other off the court, um, on the court. We help each other, like, uh, even though it's real competitive in practice, like, you may see somebody on the red team – helping somebody on uh, on crimson help somebody on white uh, after a turnover or something like telling them hey the read was to the corner instead of the wing or something like that so um i think we're all just trying to we're all buying in helping everybody trying to get better as a team so i think that's that's going a long way i think we'll be very, uh, really good this year because of that tony sakalas you're up Hey, you're known both for your shooting, but also for your defense. How, how do you feel like you fit into this uh, blue collar mentality that they preach here at Alabama? Um, I think I've, I fit well into it. You know, uh, I've always, I, I think this may be the first time defense has really been like asked of me to play, like to actually bring it. Like I, I could always play defense on my own, but like here it's like, like you have to play defense. So um, like the blue collar thing that, I think that escalated my defensive ability even more because now I'm I'm thinking about uh, help getting more rebounds, getting in passing lanes, diving for loose balls, stuff like that, which I'm capable of. And uh, I've been doing a good job of that in practice. So I think that's helping me out with my defensive side. And then being a, being a JUCO guy, you know, obviously you're going to want that early playing time, make that early in, instant impact. Do you feel like you'll be able to do that at, at, at Alabama, even with the depth that they have? Um, I do. I, I feel like I can. Uh, but then again, we do have a lot of players, though. So I feel like whoever's on the court uh, will always be in, in good hands because we like like uh, I'm pretty sure like Jordan and James have said we got a lot of good players. So we we're definitely deep. So I think whoever's in the game, even if I'm not in the game, will be will be able to do the things that we're capable of. Any other questions? We'll go over to Tyler Martin. Yeah, Keon, just curious, what have you seen from Josh Primo? Uh, you know, what what tell us about his game a little bit. Uh, Primo, he's definitely he's definitely a great guard. With him being so young, like younger than most, I would say, uh, he definitely has a, a large upside. Like you can tell, like he he was made for the like this level. Like he can he can dribble, he can shoot it. He's playing defense, but you know. Um, He's he's still learning though, but he's he's a really great player. Like, I I expect big things from him this year.